Hello and welcome to a City of Brass adventure within the Plane of Fire. Thank you for watching Green and Garb as we bring you a really, really hot one this time around. <laughs> Sweat. <laughs> it is a little hot here. That's what happened. Floating amid the elemental plane of fire, we bid you welcome to the City of Brass, the twisted obsidian home and epicenter of the Afrit, and at its very heart, the charcoal palace from which a wicked sultan of the Afrit rules. Here in this adventure, you will bear witness to a fiery D&D heist e adventure that we're all about to embark on, one we're calling the Final Ember. But who or what is the Final Ember? You'll just have to watch to find out. Now, you all just landed your sky ship, not in the city of Brass, but it's right outside the Sea of Stars in central Faerun. The sea air stirs gently around, and though it's refreshing, it's very chilly this time of year as you can all plainly tell. There's a small fire burning, and uh, you still smell the fresh waffles in the pan. Waffles. Your comrade Razwar has gone on to fight uh, in the front versus Tiamat. So here, Vahera, we're going to start with you. As you look around, Vahera, at all your friends and everything going on, everything seems well, at least for, for a moment. And then you feel a dark, stinging sensation from that oath-bound tattoo of retribution. Sharp and dark. You called. You call out and you hear nothing in response but whispers. And your shadow, actually, just a moment later, and the shadows that are <clears throat> cast from the fire, the silhouette around the cave wall, all begin to slither together and upon your next blink, they all manifest into a shadowy version of you that in one swell, uh, swoop grabs John's head, silences him, and whoosh, slits his throat as he crumples to the ground and the shadows <laughs> snicker and dissipate. You see John on the floor bleeding out. I told you. I would figure out a different way. You can give me more time. Just give me more time. John, you recover from a cantrip that kind of messed up that you were casting. Vahara, you're right. You look like you've seen a ghost. And John looks completely fine as you blink again. Fine, fine. Just tired. Shadows playing tricks on me. That's all. Hmm. Amalia? Yes. Oh, Do you need to take a nap, my love? Probably. <laughs> you guys uh, haven't been sleeping all that much lately, so. No, not so. Wouldn't at all. blame me if you want to pass on the watch tonight. I might. And honestly, this new. Uh, <clears throat> suit of the Antenna Storm is quite comfortable. I might just sleep in my new armor. <laughs> uh, so that means there's just no chance of... What? Anyway, <laughs> 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 Thanks for that image. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to lay down. Just take a quick power nap. I'll be right back and I kind of get into the little corner with my pack. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of lay, lay my head down. Rest. Thank you. I'll tuck her in. I need socks. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of you? I'll take the first watch. You can get some rest as well. You seem like you might need it. Yeah. Definitely Hera, good. I'm kind of cold. You could actually lay next to me. That would be nice. Very well. <laughs> come, come to mama. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the line. <laughs> I'm fine. And I'm like, arms just like here. And I point to a spot and I kind of pat the ground next to me. I draw an actual line. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> Amalia, as Vahara uh, is next to you, you of course feel the warmth of her Janazi <sighs> presence. Uh, but also, since you are 
angelic and filled with radiance. You also feel a bit of a shadowy uh, kind of subtext to her emotions, her presence, her aura. Hmm. Do you want, I kind of whispered to her, do you want me to ask Basil to make you some tea to calm your nerves? No, no. I just need some sleep, that's all. I think we all do. Indeed. All right, my friend. Well, good night. Rest. I'm standing there behind you with a tray of tea, and I'm <laughs> already <laughs> slowly. <laughs> I was like, anyways, who made that? I'm gonna go, uh, go get uh, fetch some wood for a fire. Okay. Uh, any else? Oh, you were smoking your pipe, was that? Yeah, just sitting there smoking my pipe and doing the first watch. Okay. You all begin to start and move a direction of getting this camp going for the evening. Uh, when. Vahera, you notice in your hand, there's a flower you've seen before in the cold north. Just poof, appears there. Hmm. Ah, yes. I need to find a way to contact Zunk. Then, as you say the word Zunk, it poof, and a plume of purple smoke, all of you see uh, a crackle of, of magic as a towering purple figure appears uh, in front of you all with long silvery hair. You've seen him before, but the rest of you have not. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep! <laughs> Crop beard, he's dressed in this robe of shimmering emerald silk, gold embroidery, uh, dances across the fabrics, breaking some scenes of mythical creatures and ancient spells. He crosses his arms. Zulf. Hello. And he, <laughs> and he nods. Can we help you, sir? Everyone at ease, at ease. Uh, this is a friend of mine, well, I, I, know, I know him. His name is Zunk. He so, you haven't told him about us, have you? No. Not exactly. Us. Well, the hero not telling intentions? us something, I'm shocked. <laughs> what are your intentions, my daughter? Oi! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> I barely even thought he was real the first time I saw him. Third, and I wasn't sure fourth. he was going to come back. So, love will do that. Let me be clear, let me be clear. The name's Zunk. James Zunk. <laughs> Very dead archmage at your service. Mr. The most of Harris, Mr. Zunk. Mr. Zunk. Mr. Zunk. <laughs> <laughs> Shake a nut. Psh, and splashes wine in his face, sir. Very well, very well. Yes, uh, Archmage oh, Zunk here has uh, attempted to conquer the city of Brass before and failed quite epically, but I'm hoping to learn from his mistakes. It was hilarious, and you all can call me TZ. Yes. T T Z. T Z. Yeah, T Z. So my cat called me. The T and Z in my name. So, Behera. What? Yes. There's not, there's not a T in James, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know Coleman. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Go back to the talking cat. Behera, Behera. Yes. Yeah, it was a uh, Tresum. His name was Dandelion. Well, that's not. Neither mm. here nor there. He died 3,562 years ago. Well, do I smell a moonlight flower? Yes, I believe this is what you asked for. You acquired it. Finally, it's a spell component to use the plane of infinite codexes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Delicious. It was a delicacy in Central Flannis. A good spell component has gone to waste just now. Ah, uh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, I didn't need that. <laughs> You see, I just wanted to test your conviction, Behera, the conviction of your friends. See, you were truly, truly going against Tiamat. And by that flower, your conviction is true. I um, would sure as fuck hope so. <laughs> so I don't need anything else, is what good. I'm saying. Very good. So glad to hear that. Great, I'll eat all your spell components if you'd like as well. No, I'll keep my diamonds, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can have all of my spell components. I like gems. <laughs> mm, okay. Mm. So, how if you didn't need the flowers to access the codex without going mad, mm -hmm. how are we supposed to use it? I told you I can already use it. I've siphoned a little bit of its power. Did you not tell them? I didn't feel it was necessary. Fair enough. Until... Fair error didn't tell us something. She didn't feel it was necessary. I'm shocked. <laughs> Forgive me for wanting to make sure a plan was actually a plan before getting anyone else's hopes up besides my own. Come now. Very well. I've already failed once. I have no intention of doing so again. Very so are you well. going to help? Yes, but I'm afraid time is of the essence, says TZ. The Sultan, that's his own name, he's saying, he's, okay, I'm saying my own name. The Sultan 
is destabilizing the city of Brass. And somehow, it's worse. Even the plane of fire itself. Fire energies are suddenly on the verge of chaos. And if the plane itself collapses in of itself, the consequences will be dire for this plane and many others. And that's what we're facing. I, hours most at this point. Well, if he's weakened, now would be the best time. This sounds rather urgent. He was a prattling little twit. Not surprised things are worse. And you all over here is the true Sultana of the City of Brass, correct? What? What? what, what sorry. <laughs> Can we go back just a minute? How did you two meet again? Oh, it was it was when I went off um, with those furs um, when it was really cold. Oh, when I was at the I theater. met him in the garden. He just showed up and started rapping. <laughs> Wait, what? A friend oh, of a friend true. reached out, oh. and we got to yes, yes. I was just muttering about, thinking of trying to think of a plan, dealing with the fact that Caecilius was in fact to be Sultan. He was the Sultan until they killed him. And that ring. Or they they overthrew him. That ring on your finger yes. proves it. Hmm. That she is the true heir of the city of Brass. And her bloodline as well. My bloodline? Yes. We'll speak more about that. My family's into all kinds of weird stuff. Yeah, clearly. Yes. I think we can safely say that you'd be better than anyone else they've had in power so far. Can't promise I'd be perfect, but I can no at offense, least try. No offense, but it's a fairly short hurdle to clear. <laughs> yes. Oh, very, 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 very low bar. Very low bar. <laughs> if you do yeah. secure the city of brass, of course, the mighty army will be at your disposal. We need you. that. We could the certainly hair. use an extra hand or two. Yeah. That or could help millions. Us turn the tides. Of course. Flaming hands with that. Yes. All right, and I start to kind of just like roll up my back. <laughs> to the city I'm... of Brass, then! The plane yes. of. Oh, not my new shit. Says TZ. <laughs> In the city of right, so, so you're going to take us now? Yes, I have just the vehicle prepared. Okay. We can't take our airship. No. 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 Cinnamon roll? <laughs> <laughs> Don't no. worry. Why not, Basil? I'm stroking the. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there's a 68% chance that we turn right here when we're done. I mean, that's better than 50-50. Yeah, I, get, I guess. Take I'll take those odds. All right. As long as there's a 100% chance that we will return. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, pack up your gear, and let's get going. I'm ready. Very well. All right. Grab that's what little stuff, stuff I've got. Yeah. Okay. Pulls up his sleeves. You ready? I'm going to put the ship on idle. Into- <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, wanna, beep, beep. <laughs> you want to just self-drive home? Um, obviously it can do that, yes I do. <laughs> You're like, go home, baby. <laughs> Get out of here, go Be on. Be safe. Get it. Okay. Get it. <laughs> you smack it. He begins prepping his ancient magics. Hold on. Hold on to me. And a pew appears in front of you. Is a carriage, but it's actually... Looks like a pumpkin is being led by a bunch of mice. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> he says, no. Are, no, are they at least do. dire mice? Yes, dire mice. Okay, good. But after midnight, these don't really work that well, so. <laughs> okay, one more time. Zaza, what's the spell again? Z! That. And then, <laughs> you see in front of you, not in front of you, but all in the cove you're in, a ship appears in a puff. And it looks like some kind of very odd, like, pleasure cruiser. And he looks and he's like, ooh, no, that's too sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Pushes that one away. Nice. nice. One more time. Zap! Was that it? And you see a unicorn in front of you, but it's stuffed and looks like two people are about to like make love on it. And he said, Oh, wrong universe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is it. Maybe it's really hard. Maybe. <laughs> Just a thought. Maybe we don't need to save the multiverse. Do you know? <laughs> Did you see the abs on that guy? Was he a watcher? Okay. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is it. Come on, TZ, you got this. And then just a bubble. That'll work. That worked before. Oh, yeah, you've done with the comic. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You've seen this kind of match before. before. Well, it didn't work for me, but it worked for the rest of you, so we'll see what (laughs) happens. Yes. I gave the last one a real good punch test, so these are pretty good. Okay. All right. Have you tried it in fire, though? Okay. Buble of nature, planar, teleport, movement. 
Buble. <laughs> Buble. <laughs> it's a Buble, yes. I walk up to the bowl. Yes. And I put my hand up. The Buble. Okay. <laughs> you walk up to the Buble. The Buble. <laughs> I put my hand on the Buble. I, put my, I rest my hand on the Buble. What happens? It's very soft. They're very squishy. It's like a, ba- like a bag of sand. Can almost. I put my hand through the Buble? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. You put your hand on it. Uh, like a latch appears. Like a, almost like a, you can put your, it's like a, like a door latch almost. <laughs> okay, but as you open it, it goes, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Very loud, like scratching of a How chalkboard. How bubble <laughs> need greasy? I got some WD-40 in it. <laughs> okay. Afraid that works. I'm fit shy to work, though. Come on. into the bubble, and then I hold my hand out for my All right, everybody get in TZ's magical bubble. Let's see. Inside. Done. Un buble. Un buble. I'm in there next to John. Okay. You get said as you go in, you go to sit down, benches pop up. Oh. And it's almost like being on a water bench. I'll sit. Shh, shh, shh. <sighs> this is fairly comfy. Okay. It's nice. And you sort of uh, like genies yeah. in there. You ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. We'll warn you, the plane of fire is very hot. I never would have guessed what I've been there before. Wait, you have? Yeah, we've all been there before. Even you? We've all been there before. Modern dad. We fought, we fought Kaisilis for the first <laughs> time. Yes, I remember all these facts <laughs> vividly. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. <laughs> all right. Ready? Yes. Okay. To the plane of brass. The bubble begins to lift up, and then, uh, you know those roller coasters that take you up and just kind of let you fall? Yep. It's like that. And you go straight oh God. Uh, oh and you're God. all sitting in your seat and you're just thrust up onto the top of the bubble. Oh. <laughs> As you like free fall drop what seems like miles and miles and miles. Uh, Mr. And James, why are there no seatbelts? <laughs> you see him kind of, he's just like hurtling around this bubble, just wildly, not even in control. <laughs> so, uh, oh, fuck you. Uh, how many things like? <laughs> Make sure you get seatbelts installed. This is a bad way to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you go through the prime material plane, and you pass through, it looks like the uh, ethereal plane, uh, straight, and then you enter the plane of fire. And below you, it's just a giant inferno, like a raging inferno in the sky here. Even uh, when you two were here, it wasn't this bad. It looks like it's the fire is completely destabilized. Uh, but before you see this, the fabled city of brass that maybe you've never seen from the air before, uh, but it's cradled in this kind of, I mean, a brass protective shell. It's about 40 miles uh, across. The city of May is made of itself, it's made of uh, basalt and obsidian. It's black in stone, it's cracked from all the immense heat everywhere. Uh, mm. And on one side, of the har- on one side, there's a harbor that goes next to the uh, sea of liquid fire. On the other side, there's a kind of a dark graveyard, uh, which from which like steam rises. And the rest of the city is uh, sits upon a, a cracked and scorched wasteland of orchards of twisted trees that span for miles across the, past the city's walls. Oh, it's just as lovely as I remember, only worse. It's even worse than I could have thought. Oh, I knew the devil is hot. Oh, of everything. And Good you're point. still in the water bubble, I'm afraid. Oh. Yeah, get ready. Oh, goodness. Do you feel it? Do you feel it, John? I feel it. <laughs> I, I feel it. All right. Hey, I'll take these all. He takes out his spell books. He pops and he says, these Ooh. are smoothies from the tropical land of Chult, and he gives you each one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Where did you sponsored. get these from? Mm, not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, they all gave you fire resistance. Oh, good. Yeah, so you can have damage for fire and you won't melt into a puddle of sweat. Cool. So I mean, we'll still do that. Uh, unless you're playing the Green Guard headquarters. <laughs> yeah. I'm already fire resistant. And you'll still have this leggy resistance that doesn't stack. Okay. Oh, I'm already immune to fire damage, period. Oh, you're immune to fire damage? Yeah, the ring makes me immune to fire damage. Oh, that's right. Very nice. Okay, okay. You feel nice and. I'm immune fine. to not fire. <laughs> I'm home. Thank okay. <sighs> All right, uh, he looks below as you're starting to approach City of Brass, and he says, the hive of scum and villainy, but it wasn't always like that. What did it used to be like? When the Sultanas ruled, it was better. Better how? No slavery, equality, more than you could ever imagine from this city. But that oh. was generations ago. Fire does not have to be destruction, it is also life. 
right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess that book change. that says great quotes, and he just writes that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've learned that from the era. What happened to the Sultanas? How did they fall? It's a long story, and it shouldn't come from me. Who? Once we get down. I was gonna say, it's not like my father can tell me. Not like he told me anything else other than fire, doom, brimstone, do what I say or die, but you know. <laughs> that's, I'm that's, glad you're that's pretty accurate. About it now. Yeah, that's true. So that's good. <laughs> Progress. And, <laughs> and just a moment later, there's a, as you look, uh, there's a massive like quake, a and the whole of the plane of fire begins to just tremble and shake, and your bubbles like shaking <laughs> around. And are we uh, every, on the ground uh, yet? Oh, no, not yet. Oh, All geez. the fire uh, in the air that's kind of like completely chaotic uh, is just begins to shoot off like streams of lava, and one of them <laughs> hits the bubble, uh, and it sort of shudders around, and the top of the bubble begins to literally just melt from the top. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his hand out, just like fire, just shoots off past his finger. Okay, well, I think we need to crash land. You think? <laughs> well, they have I'll have less of so a crash be doing more that. Of the land. They have killed Buble. <laughs> Oh, no. can, I, can I cantrip a ray of frost at it where it's deteriorating? Oh, you can try. Yeah, it's a great idea. Yeah, band aid, band aid. Okay. <laughs> so it's, there's just streaks of like molten lava shooting everywhere here. So as you do that, you are stopping it from falling. So you're going to have probably less, unless somebody else wants to help as well. Oh, I just have ideas. fire. I'll, I'll, I'll add to that. <laughs> okay. So you begin to catch it, and, it, and it, uh, the bubble freezes for a minute, and then it, it sort of stops it from deteriorating as fast. So. I uh, he's a genie and he was like, we're just going to crash like <laughs> I guess that's what's happening right I'm now. I'm also dead. <laughs> he's got a point. Vahera. Yes. I can land us. Do you know what the char is? Yes. I can land us there. It's outside the city. But okay. the guard won't be there. Fantastic. It's safer. Okay. Okay. Hold on to nothing. I put my shield under me. And- <laughs> okay. He just puts his hands out. As as the bubble is like crashing and all like halfway already disintegrated, so you just kind of there's like streaks of fire and your hair is just <laughs> waving and there's just it's like ch- uh, charred in, at the end. My hair. And he puts his hands up and he disappears into a little magic bottle that's now in your hand. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna basically grab John. I'm gonna like lift him. Okay, the bottle goes in. I think he's gonna fly away. At the very so everyone give me dexterity saving throw, please. I'd like to see. Can I try to fly out of there? Oh, you can absolutely do that. I wanted to grab John. Oh, you nice, can do dexterity saving strength. throw at the last second. You can I have do, that. To do that again. Uh, you still need to do strength though. Yeah, I'll do a strength here. roll. Okay. Twenty-three. Okay. Straight strength. Yeah. Twenty. Well, you can you if you de- have a saving just straight throw. Straight dex. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, dex saving throw. Yeah. Dex Twenty. Okay. Twenty. Good. Oh my God, are you serious? Twenty. Wow. It's a 10 as I'm doing this ray of frost the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So Basil's the last one out, and he's desperately trying to keep Stop the thing intact. Stop <laughs> <laughs> Basil! Basil just... <laughs> under my shield. Okay. It's, uh, do, do you have time for that, like casting your spells? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it's fine. What do you do? You're gonna, are you going to shield surf? Yeah, repulsion shield surf. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Basil, you grabbed by the house. Is that great? Yeah. Okay. Do I need All a right. strength checker? No, you're good. You do okay. your deck safe. All right, okay, that's yeah. fine. Uh, and you shield surf. Like you would just pop up, explain it. Just land and use the repulsion effect to not impact hard and just kind of slide to a stop. Gently. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just tire marks. Nice. Okay. Nice. Thanks, Ian. Okay. Here we go. I just in the have air. John in my arm. I can't like, fly. I don't like this flying thing. Just staring <laughs> lovingly like, in your uh, eyes. Yeah, I know the sky's like, not baby. my favorite thing. <laughs> And and I just, wait, in the arms of the angel? <laughs> yeah! Oh, that's oh, God, angel. it's terrible. <laughs> Copyright. And I land this down very gently next to any Alice and okay. Basil. And you land perfectly like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Punch the ground as I land. You're down the char. You know this area very well. Uh, it's... You smell of molten metal. It's used as a, it's a, clearly uh, a slave district, and it's walled off from the, rest of the main uh, city. Here is all the heavy, difficult mining, refining, metalworking being done by Ooh. emaciated, very poorly clothed captains, captive serfs at best. So, what kind of races? Uh, every, everything, everything okay. all across. Okay. Yeah, just enslaved people from everywhere in the realms. Yeah. Oh God! What a hellhole! Literally. Vahera. You can fix it. You can try. I can Where certainly try. Exactly. Do we go now? Oh, I haven't been to this part. Perception, everybody. Uh, I passed. 
passive is 18. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to activate Reliable Talent okay. um, to I'm make you it. You don't need to roll that to do what? Oh, okay. uh, I'm going to activate Reliable Talent to, uh, when I make an ability check that adds my proficiency bonus, treat a d20 roll of 9 or lower as 10, so 10. Okay, got it. Uh, 16, Mamalia. Uh, and John? I'm still staring lovingly. Oh, okay, I like that. Okay. <laughs> well, the rest of you notice, a little ways away, there's a squadron of the Unquenchable. Here you know these as basically uh, militaristic and fanatical free guards that are 100% completely loyal to the Sultan and only the Sultan. And they're dressed in garish golden armor. Uh, it looks like a, a group of them in front are uh, just mercilessly beating some impoverished laborers. And they're being commanded to do so by someone who looks to be laughing maniacally in front of them. Uh, and this person is dressed in, in regal City of Brass garb, uh, and it's it's an Efreet, it looks like, with long, fading red hair that goes down almost to their feet, they have crisscross scars across their face, and fire elemental tattoos all up their arms. Uh, and uh, she also has a flaming scimitar uh, emblem on her cloak, uh, which means, you know, she's the hand of the Sultan. Gotcha. Uh, who is basically the commander advisor of the Sultan's forces. Everyone, quickly, over there. It's the unquenchable. We need to be careful. They are the most bloodthirsty, maniacal demons you can imagine, and they are loyal only to the Sultan. And it looks like they're with the hand of the Sultan now. Sounds like lovely folks. <sighs> we should probably avoid them for now. Where do we need to go? Uh, to wait, we're going to avoid them. We're just going to let him. We can't let them just let them kill someone. <sighs> but if we give our presence away now. No. We lose the element of surprise. At this point, the hand uh, points at one of the uh, individuals there, and one of the Ifrit soldiers takes a spear out, just stabs him through the heart, pushes it out, and goes Are over to the next person. With Behera, it's your call. Before anyone could think, I have pulled my swords out and I've run out into the alley and said, Hey! Over here! Okay, there are dozens and dozens of these guys. Okay, and what are the rest of you? All right, let's go. I'll, I'll back John, her up. I'll put John down and fly <laughs> right after Behera, right behind her. Okay. I run. Oh, I, I jog over somewhat, uh, somewhat laboredly. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Uh, who are you next to? Uh, probably Amalia. Amalia. Yeah. Amalia, give me perception, and I'll. In the meantime. Okay. As you say that, Behera, you jump in. They all turn, and uh, the guard, you know, with the spear, stops what they're doing, and, and everybody, you know, all the person they have underneath, kind of squirm away uh, as best they can. And the, what was your total? 19. Okay, you noticed John laboring, uh, getting there pretty late. Uh, and this hand of the Sultan just looks directly at you, Vahera, laughs and smirks, points the guard in your, all the guards in your direction, uh, and just steps back into a flaming portal and disappears. What? So, uh, everybody Can needs I to give me that? initiative, but you're welcome to say um, As Are they charging? Uh, yeah, they've already gotten kind of in position. I'm going to cast Arch. darkness from my sword. Oh, smart. I'll give you that as a surprise action. Okay. Can we all get a surprise action? Uh, no, just for her. Okay. Because she took the lead and was there before nice. anybody else. Beautiful. Okay. What's a surprise action? Uh, oh, like you, you get a free action and you get a full action afterwards. So cool. you, that was it. Cool. And you get, when you, it's your turn, you'll get to take your whole turn. Cool. All right, so we're going to do cinematic combat right now. They're going to get a I turn to do a cinematic fire. action each when their initiative hits. Okay. Uh, initiatives. Amalia seven. Okay. Twenty. Okay. Twenty-five. Okay. Wow. Ten. Ten. Twenty-one. Okay. Vahera, and then Basil, and then John. No wait, Vahera, John. No, Vahera, Basil, Basil, John, any else? Any else, and then Amalia, and that's it. As your actions, the enemies will respond in turn. So okay. again, there's like dozens and dozens of these elite free guards. So what's our terrain? Also, what's your terrain? Okay, the, uh, it's like a city street. Yeah, it's, it's open city streets. There are buildings uh, on the side. And they look like kind of. Uh, it's essentially essentially a shanty town uh, at best. So are yeah. they all fire efreets? They're all fire efreets. Yes. Thank you. Uh, it's pretty clear to you that fire will in no way work. Okay. Okay. So, Vera, as a combat starts, you do a uh, darkness spell that covers where? Um, like imagine there's just a, a pretty big group of them scattered. Uh, so in a point way. within range. So kind of like I'm gonna pick like right where my feet are. Oh, so in front of so, you. So, like, around me. Like, I'm going to disappear. Oh, can you see through magical darkness? Um. I was going to assume yes. I'm, yes. Let's just assume yes. If not, your ring will give it to you. Yeah. Okay. Because it's a sword spell, so. Okay, great. So now the dogs around you, and all your other uh, companions are behind you, so right now they're being sort of shielded visually mm -hmm. uh, as the horde charges. So, uh, okay. So, you're up now. Okay. So, um, the 
how many are coming towards me? Like, dozens. Dozens. Dozens and okay. dozens. Okay, so I'm going to wait until they come into the darkness. You got it. Okay, so they begin to charge. Not all of them go through, but some do. Some are going to start to go around. And, and some are staying back also throwing already the lob spears and other sp- uh, spells. And I'm going to attach my garrote to one of my handles while okay. I'm holding one of my swords. All right. Um, so I'm going to go to stab one of the ones that are closest to me okay. without revealing myself, kind of be we- like weaving through the shadows. Okay. Um, oh, and that's nice. The other one, as I stab with my other sword, I'm going to grab the other end of my garrote, okay. wrap the garrote around his head, and rip wow. his head off. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Oh. And just blood and like sort of lava mix almost shoots up out of this. Uh, and then uh, the other ones that are in, in the darkness can't really see, the mm-hmm. ones that have charged in, and they're just splattered in blood uh, as as you take down two, uh, and yeah, okay, very good. And then I will jump, kind of jump off of that one and do two swords into the next one that I can find. Okay, that's amazing. So the ones that have gone inside, you're just slicing them down. They can't even see. They're sort of, uh, you know, have vision, and in this case with darkness, they have like disadvantage. You would have advantage. So you could just slice them down. All you hear is just, uh, you. the rest of you see heads and body parts just flying out of this oh sphere my. of darkness. Oh, 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 my. And because oh. of my... It's all that is new! Oh. <laughs> because of the swords are now connected by the garrote, I'm also using, like, I'm throwing some of the swords and using the garrote to extend some of my reach and then pulling them back out and still using them to wrap around heads and limbs and... So this is just a sphere of annihilation, essentially. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Uh, as that happens, though, uh, they do get, once they're in there, because there's quite a few charging in there, you're going to take some residual damage as Mm -hmm. you're sort of fighting through them. Uh, You're going to take 10 points of piercing damage in response. So, okay, and that's your turn. Uh, Then we have Basil, right? Great. Okay, you're up. So you see that happening, that sphere, uh, and there's, again, there's others going around uh, darkness, Mm -hmm. and there's some in the back that are already lobbing, like, spears and uh, spells, like fire spells. Great. So as I, like, jump out from wherever we were hiding behind, I'm going to enlarge as I start running, and I'm going to do, like, a cool little, like, shoulder-to-hip kind of roll and slam my fists down. Oh, my God! Lightning strike as I... Uh, lightning strike in a 120 foot long like line I to s- hit some of the guys in the back. Oh my god! That was like tearing up the nice. cobblestone. Nice. 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 With some, some Thor movement, as you're stomping, right, all the uh, obsidian and charred dust and everything shoots up around you uh, like, like a cloud, and you go down, hit it, and the lightning starts like small with like a right, and then it shoots forward, and of course they don't have any resistance to, to lightning. So, uh, so as the ones that are charging through, you literally cut a swath through them, uh, and there's, you know, they're charging like in the military line, and they look over, and these are charred <laughs> bodies of other freaks that just kind of like fall to the ground and just <laughs> disappear into ash. Cool. I'm just shaking my head. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Okay, nice. very good. And yeah, you're up. Uh, so you... Uh, oh, I'm sorry? I'm oh, yeah, he's at the 20. Uh, so because you're so large... Uh, you will attract a lot of fire, right? Uh, so you all getting hit by as you and slam I drop down. Prone. Like some, uh, <laughs> what? I drop prone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's disadvantage against your run. Uh, but like spears are still hitting you uh, sure. as you go in from the guards. So you're going to take also ten points of piercing damage. Okay. As you're still pretty large target, so I'm going to say twenty. Like big basil. Yeah, twenty points of piercing damage. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to dash forward uh, through the darkness, um, and I've recovered some of my strength. I'm going to bound upwards, and I'm going to basically, like, shoot two bolts, at, uh, or four bolts of uh, frostbite at uh, two of their feet. Okay. Like, sealing them down okay, they, into the ground. They stop, and they sort of, like, shudder and shake, and they're trying to get out, but they can't. And then I pull my sword out from under my back, and I just clean slice both of their heads off while they're, like, frozen into the ground. Oh. <laughs> it's just, like, stumps that are frozen. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, and they sort of fall, like they're cleaving half, and they, the top of their half, yeah. their torso is mm-hmm. to the side. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Keep going. Um, yeah, so uh, then I'm going to whip around and sort of uh, spin a little bit more of that frost energy towards uh, a, a spinning whirl towards um, towards the next group uh, to my left. Okay. Um, and so you want that, is it going with your sword, like are you encasing your sword? Yeah, it's or? like encased in my sword, and then I'm going to just, actually, I'll just take it, encase my sword, and I'll just throw my sword directly through to them. Oh nice. my gosh. Okay, so you throw the sword and you're imbuing it with your with ice magic, yes. right? Uh, it hits one, it just stabs them, and then Shatters. and then because of not quite, I mean yes, but but more than that. So because they're opposites, right? Mm-hmm. Fire and ice, mm-hmm. that's the thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a chain reaction mm-hmm. uh, that causes it to sort of like detonate uh, into a bit of both. And it's a four damage explosion that pushes everyone, they all go flying, some are like shot up against sides of walls and to the side, like heads are crunched and 
then you, your sword is in one of them. Fantastic. <laughs> Who's also dead? You might want that. <laughs> I'm gonna, if I have enough movement, I'll run back up and 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 yank my sword yeah, you out do that. and then just sort of uh, and like as you stand do, ready so to go over their bodies. All the ones you're fighting through are gonna be, uh, you know, fighting back with their spears and scimitars yes, as well. So you're also gonna take because right in the action, uh, 20 points of piercing damage. Okay. So you had advantage because you were in your own spheres. Mm-hmm. I couldn't see as well. Okay, who's next? Any Alice. Okay, any Alice? Okay, there's so, not that many. Maybe a third of them left. I'm going to drop to a knee. Okay. Fiddle with my wrist for a fraction of a second. Okay, all right. And then suddenly, as far as everyone else sees, I just have the rifle in my hand, just <laughs> firing four blasts, like streaking out all. It almost looks like they're simultaneous. Okay. At remaining troops. That's right. There's like, like a, streaking between people in the party as that's they're a, that's fighting. A, as, uh, nice. Sometimes in, in, in your point of view, right, it's almost like a slow motion, like John would be sort of like fighting, right? He's up in the air and he's sort of in slow motion for you and a shot just fires like through underneath him, mm-hmm. right? And it's gone like in a split second. You, you don't even notice it other than there's like mm-hmm. a hole, like uh, like bullet holes based essentially, like yep. bullets uh, through a bunch of and, and everybody else around, even further back into the group. So yeah. you're getting hit by a few stray javelins taking 10 pier- points of piercing damage. Uh, as you're around. Okay, but the rest are just... <laughs> and then, like, they, like some even after you shoot them, some even look down, like, they don't even realize they've already been dead. Yes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they oh, fall. no, a flesh wound. <laughs> okay, uh, Amalia, there's okay, that so, many left. So, um, I am going okay. last in the group because I have kept my attention on John, who seemed very winded when okay. we out of the buble. Um, <laughs> so, uh, where, where are most of them at right now? Uh, the ones are left, the whole front line is fine. There's some in the back who are already uh, were sort of like artillery, basically, and already looked like they were kind of turning tail to run already. Mm, I don't think so. Um, So as I'm standing there, I had my eye on John, and I start to kind of, um, you see, I start to kind of flap my wings, and like I'm taking, um, you know, uh, almost like step stairway to heaven style. Um, So you see like lightning go, I take four Uh, steps up, uh, and then you see me um, disappear. And appear behind as I lightning step. Oh my god! Behind so the, the, the guards are already running and stop, and they're like completely surprised. Yes. So you see me kind of climb up and appear behind them, uh, and as the kind of like line of artillery uh, people, yeah, have not, whatever, uh, haven't seen me. I'm gonna reach into my bag really quickly and pull out uh, just a pinch of dust mm-hmm. and um, and a few drops of water. It's like one, two, three. <sighs> And cast Sleet Storm across. Right. Okay, they're all vulnerable to ice. Yes, and a twenty-foot-tall, you know, cylinder radius, trying to engulf as many as I can without hurting my party members. Easy for you. Um, so you you start to see kind of this wind and, and Sleet Storm, whoosh, whoosh, trying to kind of concentrate around there. Um, and all exposed flames in that area are doused. Oh, okay. All their hairs go out. Yes. So they're all <laughs> and as, as they're literally, they're going, they're like. They're saying like "oh shit, Nignan" and like uh, yeah. other other curse words at you, and they're going like for their weapons. They're just, <laughs> and then they just shatter Great. all the rest of them, nice. and all the fires are put out. And just moments later, you all see you are victorious. Well done. We can't let any of them escape. Any altercations, everyone must be killed. We can't let anyone know we're here. As much as possible. Uh, didn't some the well, great well the boss kind of escaped right off the bat. Yeah, so. I think we've lost our element of surprise <laughs> no, at this point. I think so. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Gear I still together. have a plan. And you hear so there's uh, suddenly an earthquake blowing, <laughs> shaking the whole foundation. Uh, I'll grab uh, as many of their shoulders as I can. Okay, uh, it's not too too bad. I don't. I'm not gonna make any checks. For now, uh, but, uh, uh, but you stabilize, stabilizes after. I fall to my knees. Oh, oh John. Okay. Uh, John. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, it's hey, just. Did you get hurt? It's just hot. It's just warm. You know I don't like the warmth. I like the cold. All right, I'm gonna grab like a <laughs> snowball from the sleet storm I just created. There's not much left. It's it's melting very quickly. Uh, <laughs> and drink this. <laughs> <laughs> That was so cool, you all. Nice. I'm sorry, Avengers. Good. <laughs> 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 uh, after the, so that group that, uh, of prisoners that was being harassed are kind of trying, and everyone else that was around here have either gone inside, to close the shutters, or have long since ran. So it's just a small group here. Are they in any people. sort of shackles? Uh, we could, some of yeah, them I'm are. Yes. Yeah, yeah I like to, go. to them. Okay. Unlock this. All right. So you yeah, easily I'll open the, uh, uh, any free off them. that I have to cut okay. off. 
Uh, and if they do, they thank you. Well, who speaks Signan? Anybody except for Barry? Yeah, no, nobody else? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, they all thank you and just immediately just turn tail and run. Uh, except for one individual who looks uh, quite aged, uh, very wrinkled face, looks like a fire genasi like you, uh, and just got completely white eyes, uh, who looks sort of beyond your group and uh, struggles to get up a little bit. I'm going to help them. Okay. All right. Uh, and Do they look injured? No, no, not really, no. Okay. No, no. They look elderly and okay. blind. Yeah, so I wanted to make sure if they need any healing. And as... Um, he touches your hand, and he, he looks just straight through you. And he seems to be grasping uh, at your hand and, and touches the ring. And he stops for a moment and says, That ring, it can't be. Are you... Do you know me? No. And he puts up his hand and just touches your face for just a moment. Sort of just, just to see. You must speak with the Scythian Council. The Scythian Council? Yes. Tell me more. They are the last remnants of the rebels that fight against the Sultan. Yes, you must take them to me. You must take me to them. Okay. And they are your friends? Yes, we're here to help. He looks, he looks at you and waves. My name is Chuf. Chuf. My name is Vahera. I am the daughter of Kaecilius. Everyone knows who you are. We'll know who you are. Everyone? Yes. The council can explain. We must hurry. Come, all of you. Before they come. Quickly, let's go. Help. Can I try to offer if he needs to help? Like, can he walk? Is he? Yeah, it looks like. Uh, give perception a moment. Carry him. What's your passive perception, actually? Well, you have, uh, you have a ton of wisdom. Nineteen. Right? So, oh, okay. Uh, you see, there's like a, a white cane made of like uh, white rock, basically, that is falling a little ways off. I'm gonna kind of go over it and grab it. Yes, sir. Your cane. Thank you. I think grab it, puts it down. He seems to be walking pretty well with that. Okay. We're heading inside the city. Right, take us. Okay. Is there any sort of uniform on the like mask that we just sort of? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, like a garish gold uniform with like a blazing scimitar. Is it like a masked something. uniform situation? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Masks, yeah. yeah. I'll grab those. Yeah. Maybe we should gear up or grab it for later. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, stuff them in like the back. Like you're thinking about. Any of the rest of them, them have cloaks on, like the leader did? No, no. I mean, they all have cloaks, but just like kind of general cloaks for being soldiers of. Not, not with the emblem on them. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what? The general clothes. <laughs> they didn't yeah, they have the one with the emblem on them. No, that was just the hands of the soldier. We might need them. You never know. Might as well take them now. It's very heavy plate armor. Oh. Into the bag. Well, <laughs> <laughs> stuffing plate armor. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff bag in the bag holding. I'm holding. Do you have enough we room could still? Just, yeah, There's no way. We no? could just put the helmets <laughs> and cloaks on. I don't know. Am I supposed to be... I don't worry about it. Yes, it's plenty of room for five plate armors and plate armors. <laughs> Put all that in there. It's fine. Uh, yeah, you have a fresh one. <laughs> I was going to say, don't we have two now? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have two. Yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. Of course totally you do. I, wait, I think you have three, actually. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> we, have whole, we have a whole luggage set, actually, of bags of holes. Yeah. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, <laughs> don't put them on inside on. each other, though. They don't stack. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> don't um, stack. <laughs> So uh, Chuff is pretty silent as uh, he leads you into the city of Brass itself. And is it Chuf or Chuff? Ch- it's Chuf. Chuf. Okay. Did I say Chuff the first time? Chuff. Sorry, it's Chuff. Yeah. Chuff, okay. Uh, it's Chuff. So uh, the city, because of all the burning fires in the sky and ground, it's never dark in here and it never rests. So the streets is... He takes you through like a roundabout way, sort of. But the streets are clogged completely with like elemental kin, azir, mm-hmm. ifrit, sal- uh, salamanders, magmen, mephits, all sorts of uh, fire creatures. Um, oh, I've shrunk back down at this point. Oh, have you? Okay, that's Just fine. Just uh, And there's guards everywhere patrolling the city. You're not sure if they're looking for you, but it seems to be on high alert. So uh, I would like everybody to give me a stealth check, assuming you want to get through unseen. And remember, if you have disadvantage oh. of wearing heavy armor. Um, unless you want to wear the armor, uh, that give you advantage. Say, I was just say, what? Hey, 
kind of pull everybody into an alley before we kind of run into a guard. There's like a big, there's like a main street that you need to pass, well, basically. Before we get to, well, we might as well just put it on. If we already have it. Couldn't hurt. I think they might see through the um, uh, wings, Amalia. Good or the point. lack of flaming hair. They each get a set of armor on each wing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you all could all put the armor on and I'm a prisoner. That's good thinking. Might Lead arouse, the way. Might, and might arouse questions. It's no the doubt only. they're looking for me. Okay, yes, so you looking. lead the way. We'll armor up. Maybe just cloak up, Amalia. Okay, I'll just kind of go full like beggar woman, like really big hunched. Yeah, I'm just and like yeah. bad posture. Ah, who's mm, the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so if you all are you disguising, uh, everyone disguising, basically. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, there's sure. a lot of us to do, though. Okay, you'll be able to roll yourself at advantage. Oh. I think we should try to, and then uh, we'll ha- help Chief get dressed too, so he can wear one. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, I don't think I can because I'm attuned to my armor. So, like, I'm. Can you wear it o- armor over armor? Yeah. Okay, great. For sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing people do, right? I just want to bend it a little. Give, little, give me a, sec- a strength save. Or just athletics, athletics. Sure. The, the cloak and helmet. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, he says, oh, okay. 17. My stealth check was 22. Okay. 15. 15. What are we doing? Stealth? Stealth. Yeah. 12. 12. John? 13. 13? That's with advantage, you two? Yeah, that, 12 was with advantage. Oof. Also 12. All right, you ready to pe- cross the street? Sure. Hi. Okay. Um, I'm, never re- um, I'm never ready to cross the street. Guidance. Oh, 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 guidance. Oh. guidance. I'm not a chicken. Uh, question. How often can I use the blade spells? I can't remember. Uh, I think once, probably long rest, or maybe short rest. Why? Because I could cast pass without trace, but we might need it later. Oh, and that's definitely long rest. It would have, yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's let's take our chances. Okay, that's a fan. That's really. Oh, okay. yeah. Hey, but yeah. I, yeah. I get the feeling we're yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, that's I'm going to give myself and right Amalia guidance then. That's... You can do that to people? Isn't it a. Sure, okay. Venture? Okay. Molly, guidance. Thank you. Um, 16 for me then. Okay. Uh, you had a 12, right, John? 13. 13, then, okay. Um, I'd like to kind of prepare. A um, spell? A spell. Okay. You're in like a dark alley right now, so you're not really visible. Okay, I'd like to kind of prepare um, as I kind of cast. Here's some like whisperings. Whoosh. And I have a like a ball of air that I'd like to keep kind of tucked onto my cape. Oh. For a gust of wind, perhaps, to sneak by at some point. Okay. All right, you have to cross this very busy street. There's it's like a, almost like a market street, like a main street, and you can see the uh, charcoal palace further on behind a large, large wall uh, made of obsidian. And you make it all the way across uh, until someone grabs your shoulder, John, and just turns you forcefully. And it's a free guard. Looks down to you, his eyes are red on fire. There's two of them actually says. Name? Um, oh wait, in ignorance, so you don't know what you have no idea what he's saying. Yes, um, you do though. I'm gonna run up to them okay. and uh, cast strong person. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you get just, advantage, it means you get advantage on what do you want to do? Just, oh, what are you gonna do? Just say he's not the one you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deception at advantage. Okay. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> It's, please don't tell me this is gonna 19 work. Nineteen plus six. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five. So he puts his hand back. Twenty-five. He looks at his he looks at his body here, guard, and says, yeah, "Definitely not the ones we're looking for." And it just patrolling. <laughs> <laughs> nice. As if oh nothing ever happened. God. It's just like a weight. It's like some hearts just above it. <laughs> oh my god! That's hilarious. <laughs> what did they say, Vahar? Ah, uh, nothing. We're fine. Oh my god! I can't. We're fine. Just keep going. All right. <laughs> You are charmed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. Exactly. Uh, Sorry, we'll kind of that's make... what Oscar always says. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're any better. Real. I, I, I never said anything about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, you go a ways longer. You enter what seems to be like a nondescript alley. Uh, and Chuf puts a hand on a wall. Uh, there's no one around here. At all, it's like empty, empty, uh, and then it suddenly begins to his. It seems to react to his hand and shines, and then covers this whole wall area, like a brick wall area, and like very subtle radiant energy that shimmers, and then it just disappears. Uh, and he looks around a little bit, 
and motions you down. It's like some steps. Quickly now. Oh. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go in last and make sure no one falls. Okay, us. you don't see anybody. Uh, it looks like there's a set of, well, uh, who has Arcana, John, please? Or anybody else? Arcana's fine. I can't who wants, Arcana uh, my way detect out. Sort of magical. Bag. 17. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you realize that there's like a ton of very potent spells of like non detection in this area. Spells like hmm. runes, things like that. Can you feel it's, that? What? It's just. Someone does not want to be found. All right. Yes, and we need to make sure they stay hidden for now. Agreed. Come. You walk down a very long, long flight of stairs. You don't know how long, but uh, you finally enter into an ornate, well-decorated furnished room uh, with walls made of protective obsidian. You can see those kind of protective rooms everywhere mm -hmm. uh, in here. But it doesn't feel like you're in the city of brass. It almost feels like you're in a, a dragon's lair, and you've been to one before. Uh, and I mean, so just, just a few times, and because uh, everything sort of hums with hey, ambient, <laughs> and ambient radiance, and there's sort of the walls. You know, they're they're dark, have supernatural colorations shimmering uh, in front of them, and it's well warded. So, well, this feels familiar. This used to be a dragon's lair. Sure it smells say it like used one. Used to be a dragon's lair. Any motions further in? And so it's to this. At the, <laughs> at the end of this room, sir. It's a, <laughs> Excuse me. Don't worry about it. He's don't not worry looking about at it. you. He's, looking, he's just looking straight forward. Okay. And then, <laughs> please be metallic. Please be metallic. Please be metallic. <laughs> Seventy fire dragons in it. <laughs> uh, and that's and then, the end. <laughs> it's a very pleasant. Looks like it's it's a uh, like a, a military like a rebel base basically. That's what you could peg it as. Uh, and in the middle of it, there's this long obsidian table. Uh, and what you can assume is a Scythian council, Vahera. It's a council of uh, all female, mostly Ifrits, but it's also some Janali, some Aesir, some Salamanders, some other people's native of the city. And as soon as you all walk in and, and you're in the main area, they immediately look up at you, Vahera, in recognition, and they all stand up in unison. They clutch both their hands on their hearts, bow deeply, and say, My lady. Uh. Well then. And that's what we'll call this episode. Uh. Oh my gosh! No. I did not actually guess. No. Okay, well, oh. what's gonna happen? Uh, tune in for part two of the final ember, and you'll find out. Oh, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, what's gonna happen? I need another uh, smoothie. The city yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it lasts until long rest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang. Okay, thank you for watching okay. uh, this. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please remember to smite that, that like button. button. Ring that notification bell, subscribe, check us out on social media. Um, we love We're on all to, the things. We love mm -hmm. to hear your thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Get ready, because there's a lot more crazy good hot stuff to come. Bye-bye. See you next time.